hey hi guys so today we are going to discuss one of the important and interesting to topic or question we can say so that is this one so which is being asked any big company so if you go to facebook if you go to linkedin if you go to amazon definitely this is one of the frequently asked questions in this particular company so let us understand this is the algorithm questions coming from ra implementation so let's understand this particular question and try to solve try to write an up optimized algorithm for this particular question let us understand what is this question is all about okay so what is this question is all about so it is trying to say write an algorithm to check if an array is conjugative or not so what it is trying to say a array is conjugative or not so what do you mean by array is conjugative let us understand this question first what do you mean by array is conjugative so this is very important array is conjugative what do you mean by array is conjugative we know conjugative numbers so these are conjugative numbers one two so this is a conjugative number 78 79 so this is conjugative number that we know 8 81 we know but what about the array what do you mean by array is conjugative array is conjugative means each element that means each element present in that particular array the conjugative element must be present in this particular array so suppose think about this particular array that means 1 5 3 2 4 okay whether if somebody asks whether this particular array is conjugative or not answer is yes why because if i'll ask one then two is present for two it is three is present three four is present five is present so this array is conjugative if i ask whether the, that means this array is conjugative so if i'll ask whether this particular array is conjugative or not so let me see so this is six nine eight seven so what is the smallest element six so six for six whether the corresponding conjugative element is there yes 7 is present how about conjugative element for 7 8 is present 8 9 is present that means every element is present so you might have observed some sequence here but yeah but ultimately the solution is or the answer is yes this particular array is conjugative how about this one so whether this particular array is conjugative let let's check so so this array contains 76 if i'll ask what is the conjugative of 76 that is 77 but what is the conjugative of 77 that is 78 78 is not there right this particular element is not there and 79 is there 79 9, there is no conjugative element also so that means this particular array is not conjugative so if i add 78 in this particular array next question is if i add 78 in this particular array whether this particular array is conjugative yes this particular array is conjugative if i add 78 insert if i insert this particular but this example so i hope you got it what do you mean by array is conjugative array is conjugative means each element contains its conjugative element so let us try to find out a solution for this particular for this particular problem right a algorithm so we are trying to find out a algorithm so before finding out the algorithm i want you to pause this particular video and try by yourself try to find out right down the algorithm and see what is the time complexity of that okay just do this one and again you can pause back and see the solution okay and if you are new to this my channel and if you are seeing this particular video subscribe to my video uh, so that you can get uh, i am creating a lot of good content related to the computer science so that you can get this particular notification and click the bell icon as well yeah so now if you are you have already tried so let us come back and see how this particular can be problem can be solved okay so let us let us let us let us try understand what is the behavior what is the behavior of the content so if i'll if i'll ask the behavior of the content or the behavior of the each element in this particular question <coughs> so if somebody asking ra is conjugative that means i am finding the first element highest element sorry minimum element and the maximum element and i am checking whether each and every number is present in this particular array so that is what i am doing if you see how we have tried with we seen the smallest element and try to see each conjugative element that means i am trying to find out whether next number is present or not that is what we are doing let us take this example so what i did i took six and then find out seven then eight nine means i am trying to find out this smallest element last element i am just doing this way so if in this case i got 76 77 but 78 is not there that's why this particular array is not conjugative so i hope you got the algorithm now okay so the basic algorithm you got it so let me write down the algorithm so that you will get a clarity on that so what will be the algorithm first step is the simplest step actually sort the array if you sort the array sort the array okay 
sort the array. Sort the array means if this is given, the sort the array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. The sort the array. Okay. So just sort the array. Okay. So if you are sorting the array, okay. So if you are sorting the array, so then we are done. Right. So then second step is for each element, each conjugative element, negative element, element, the difference should be how much? This difference should be one only, right? The difference for each conjugate element, the difference should be one. Difference should be one. Should be one. Okay, you got it. So now, so this is very simple. So what I'm doing, I'm just sorting and just checking whether this difference is one. So this difference is one, this difference is one, this difference is one. So each difference between element must be one because if I'm after sorting, if I'm Suppose 3 is not present, then this difference will be 2 and then hence it is not a conjugative array. Like in this particular example, 76, after sorting we will get 76, 77 and 79. Whenever you will find a difference, then you will find a difference of 2. That means all the conjugative elements are not present. That means this array is not a conjugative array. So that is the conclusion. So now this is the, this is the algorithm that you have written. Now the question is what is the, because generally they don't ask such easy questions right amazon and facebook they will ask the question which you can solve in an easier manner that means this is a brute force method brute force method actually not you you applied some technique but that's okay but it is a little bit brute force method that means it can be done solved easily but the next question they will ask what is the time complexity of this particular algorithm definitely they are going to ask just tell me what is the time complexity of this algorithm so if you don't know just study some of the other time complexity algorithm or oh, how to find out the time complexity i have already some videos on that so just try to read about that okay so other so for now i will tell you the time complexity of any sorting not any sorting if you are setting any 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 good sorting that means depending upon the element but that's okay in general sorting that is a log of n of n log n okay and this what you are doing actually trying to find out the conjugative number that means you are doing the traversal array traversal right just trying to find out the difference between conjugative number let me see we are traversing a array that's 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 all that means this is the time complexity is big of n then if i'll ask what is the time complexity of this particular whole algorithm the whole algorithm time complexity is order of n log n okay but the question does not end here so if you are going for interview the question does not end here they will immediately ask you they will immediately ask you whether you can write an algorithm whether you can write an algorithm which is efficient than this algorithm what does mean efficient can you write an algorithm which take less time that in that of order of n log n can you write an algorithm which will take less time sorry which will take less time this less time than that of this one okay which will take less time this of so, sorry less time so can you write can you think about some algorithm or some method which you can apply so that it will take order of n log n so let us in order to understand that let us understand the behavior of this particular thing i think you have already understood so let me take this particular thing one five three two four so whenever i am telling that array is conjugative what does that mean actually so if you think about that means that means starting from minimum to maximum every element must be present that's what we are telling that means if i am telling one so this is the minimum element and this is the maximum element so, so what i am trying to say if array is conjugative every element must be present in between this okay that means between one to five every element means two must be present three must be present four must be present so similarly in this particular example six is the smaller in this particular example six seven six nine eight seven so what is the smallest? 6 is the smallest. This is the minimum and this is the maximum. No, sorry, this is the maximum. Uh, this is the maximum element. So what I am trying to say, each element between minimum and maximum element must be present. That means after 6, 7 must be present, 8 must be present. So this is the example, another example, right? So that means what I am trying to say, can I find out, can I find out a relation? This is a hint to you. Can it find out a uh, can you find out a relation between number of element and max mean? Okay, so can you find out so how many? So if you think so, let us take this example. So number of element is five, right? So can I say so max minus mean plus one? 
can I say like this because every element means every element is 5 minus 1 is how much 4 4 plus 1 means 5 element must be present in this particular array you got it so maximum element is 5 so which is 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 that means I am writing the formula actually plus 1 so this is the relation actually if you got this relation by carefully observing this particular technique then you will write a program which will take less time you will write the program don't worry we will write down the algorithm actually but try to observe it so if it is 5 minus 1 then plus 1 so this is 4 plus 1 this is 5 so it is satisfied right so tell me so how many element more element so one constant is here that means no repetition is allowed so that is you need to be careful answering the question so if would, this particular array does not contain a repeated element otherwise everything will be 7 then it is of useless uh, you cannot check the, by using this condition so what i am trying to say max minus min plus 1 in this particular thing 9 minus 6 which is equal to plus 1 which equal to 9 minus 6 plus 1 you are able to see it yeah so this is 4 and you see four number of elements are there so just check this one this one is smallest is 76 79 is maximum minus 76 plus 1 so which is equal to uh, this is how much 3 right 3 plus 1 which equal to 4 whether 4 element is present no that's why this particular array is not conjugative if i add another element you need to add 78 because maximum is 79 and smallest is 76 then you need to add 70 78 yeah if you add them then it is going to be 4 then it is going to satisfy now write down can you convert this one in algorithm whatever we have discussed just you need to write this formula right let us write down the algorithm for this particular for this particular problem a yeah, better algorithm actually we have already written an algorithm which takes n log n but that's okay we are writing another algorithm so just tell me what will be the algorithm for this particular thing so first of all you need to find out find out two things one is max one is mean one is find out max comma mean i hope you know and you can you can find this one using 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 order of n time because this is a one for loop right for i is equal to one to n uh, take minimum minimum equal to zero and if uh, so, uh, minimum equal to infinity and if uh, minimum is less than current element then just uh, reinitialize the minimum and the vice versa for maximum if the element is greater than max maximum then just uh, do a max is equal to uh, a of i so this will take order of a n time okay but that's okay we'll uh, go for the time complexity analysis but what we are doing we are just writing the algorithm so find maximum and minimum okay so after finding the maximum and element minimum so obviously number of element is there right so what you need to do what you need to do okay okay so you need to you need to if you need to check you need to check okay if number of element n equal to this max minus min max minus min plus one then return true return true means return true means this particular algorithm algorithm this particular algorithm algorithm is or this particular array is a array is a conjugative array okay else else return false that means this particular array is not a conjugative okay so this is for distinct element means every array contains a distinct or else you need to check a distinct condition here you need to check whether each element is a distinct element or not after che after checking this element sorry after checking this condition you need to check whether each element are distinct or not if distinct then return to or else return false okay now let us go for the time complexity analysis okay now let us let us go for the time complexity what is the time complexity of this particular algorithm so the time complexity of finding a maximum and a minimum is big of n do you all understand because i need to write like this particular logic right suppose i want to find maximum for i equal to 0 i less than n suppose i plus plus okay suppose i am taking minimum equal to infinity infinity means some large number you can take actually infinity is not the large number okay if minimum is less than a of i then realize minimum equal to a of i okay okay so that's how you need to write down the algorithm so this is minimum and maximum you can do this way so this is order of n so that's why this takes order of n and this is just a big of one okay so then the time complexity of this algorithm is big of n 
so earlier you got a solution so what so we got two solutions actually one solution is big of n log n we know how to solve okay then we know we got a better solution which is big of n that means we found two algorithm we did the analysis and we got that we can find a efficient algorithm to solve this particular question using big of n okay so this is this particular problem and i will come up with next video with different other problems that are being asked by amazon facebook and all these things so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and also 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 push the bell icon don't in order to not missing the my video thank you for the day bye